<laughs> so let me do multiple choice time assessment just do one more time and then um and and then um i will do the um um to the orbit selector that i've been wanting to do uh, so here i'm gonna just go through it quickly not explain a whole bunch um because really the all these multiple attempts um its biggest value is in giving you additional look at additional questions that you didn't see on my one attempt or my other recorded attempt i think there were two of those so this is my fourth and by the time you've seen all four you might have seen most of the questions that are in the question so it's really why i'm doing it so let me retake it and kind of try to go through it fast oh yeah this is Friction, no friction, rolling without sleeping, sliding without rolling. So uh, when they're rolled down from the top, uh, this will have greater translation of kinetic energy. So the still ball, yeah, slides with negligible friction. That's the answer. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a, you have a, on the lecture, the kind of two different shaped things rolling. That's another um, aspect of that. Um, Correct the formula for one alpha and omega squared. Yeah, that's it. Um, correctly defines or describes given amount of first. No, it also depends on level R. Okay, no. Oh, we had this question before. Yeah, and in my other try. Precession. I don't think we've had this. Spinning of the bicycle. <laughs> uh, so, so precession it occurs because of the torque due to gravity. The torque due to gravity changes angular momentum in certain way, and that has to uh, match with the change in the orientation of the bicycle wheel that's a spinning. It's really what it is. So like this is a nonsense thing I give for <laughs> not, not correct answers. Uh, mass of the bicycle wheel is made heavier. It'll process uh, slower because it's a rotational inertia is greater. Um, no. Um, yeah, this is a counterintuitive thing. If it's uh, spinning slower, it's uh, uh, angular momentum is uh, shorter. So it, uh, given the same amount of torque, it takes less amount of time to make it precess. Uh, I, there's a whole lecture on it. I think if you've seen the lecture demo and heard the explanation, all this shouldn't be surprising. Um, direction? Newton's uh, third law, action, reaction, force, or in this context, action, reaction, torque. Precession, oh, no. two precession questions. That's fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess the precession is so complex because you got two different kinds of rotation. There's the spinning of the thing and how the spinning axis itself rotates around. Uh, we've had this question. Wait, no, no, this is not the question we've had. Um, okay, four box. It might. It, Rotate around this point. Um, at some point, the box falls over. Most correct. oh, so here it's a, instructed to draw a free body diagram. There's uh, gravity pulling it down, and there are two other forces. There's a normal force perpendicular to the surface, and there's friction force. Um, in terms of when you look at rotation, I guess if you use this point as your center of uh, rotation, then um, Normal force and uh, friction doesn't, wait, normal force does provide the torque. Uh, all right, I gotta throw this. Well, I'm just gonna go quickly. I said I won't explain. Um, as you increase the angle, there are no additional forces. Um, normal force actually decreases. Friction force increases. Uh, now, what will happen is that so gravity in the all the setups were stable. Gravity is providing clockwise torque, and the counterclockwise torque from normal force balances it out. The moment before where it's about to tip over is where gravity is directly over this point. So all the clockwise torque from gravity has gone to zero, and after that point, gravity will be producing counterclockwise torque. So this description kind of is right. Um, the point, the critical angle is where clockwise torque due to gravity has got decreased all the way to zero. And when it goes further, it decreases even further to counterclockwise direction. So that's the most correct choice. 
carpenter's leather. There's a whole lecture on that. And I think we did have this question before. Um, so before I mean last week. Uh, so it's relative, no, the, 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 like the moment they said this, I knew it was wrong. Um, uh, for, for example, leather for, uh, it increases. Um, slide in the wall. Yeah, I think this was the choice we had. Yeah, it. Um, so the it has to do balancing out all the torques, and to make the torques balance out, the normal force from the wall has to be greater. Uh, satellite. In, oh, we did this calculation, and last time, and we did do this calculation. Didn't we calculate forty? Uh, or did I not write it down? Escape velocity? No, that's not. Uh, never mind. <laughs> let's not waste time. I think it, so. It's a choice between 40 and 80, and I think I always forget which it is. I think it's approximately 40. Um, where's the geosynchronous orbit that I calculated? Did I do it the week before? Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, so okay, yeah, geosynchronous orbit, yeah, that's 40. Um, yeah, so good. Um, astronauts in orbit around the Earth experience weightlessness, yeah. So now they still have gravitational force on them. They just don't have no more force on them anymore. Because uh, they are yeah falling towards the free fall. That's really what they are in. Uh, Okay, uh, six minutes, I guess. Uh, yeah, let me just make sure I answered everything and we'll submit and hopefully I didn't miss anything. Sometimes when I go fast, I do, I can make a mistake. And I, you know, sometimes I joke about how it'll be embarrassing to not get 10 out of 10, but um, it, it's happened to me before. I, I'm not just a joking. It's a real possibility for me to not get 10 out of 10. Okay, so uh, I think that's a good enough of the these questions.